Hello and welcome back to more mini motorways. Today I'm doing the daily challenge, uh, Dar es Salaam, and I haven't done this yet, but I'm seeing all of these roundabouts on the bottom. I absolutely love roundabouts, so we're going to figure out what it is. I think it's unlimited roundabouts, um, but you can only attempt it once. Double the number of roundabouts awarded. Roundabouts are the only weekly upgrade offered. Perfect. So I am, I am down to roundabout. Week one is pretty uneventful usually, so we can fast forward this and probably just skip to week two, honestly. All right, we survived week one, nothing happened. We get two roundabouts and 20 road tiles. So as per the challenge, I think we should have maximum roundabouts utilized at any possible time. So we're gonna have a roundabout here, a roundabout there, and I'll put one over here for now. This seems very efficient to me. I don't know about you guys. All right, there we go, there we go. Now we can put the roundabout in the blue guy's way. Just really so he has a better drive to work, honestly. Yeah, and then we can put him on the outside so they can they can go loop-de-loop -loop around. I think this is just how roadways should be designed. Ooh, we got more friends. Okay, let's go back to normal speed. We're out of roundabouts, but we can remove one of the roundabouts from the red guy. And we can use these roundabouts to combine these two houses and also combine the roadway with the blue guys. No, 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 no. We want you entering. <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Perfection. And this needs to do that. That needs to go there. I think, honestly, we just need more roundabouts to make this more efficient. Oh, this person should leave their house this direction. And we can bring this, we can remove this, we can put it over here. Alright, they've given us a roundabout back, so now we can have... This seems much more optimal. Two more roundabouts. We can delete those. And now they go loop-de-loop, -loop. this house goes into the roundabout there. So this guy is also blue, but we have a blue building over here, so I think we need an on-ramp roundabout. So that the blue guys can take... Oh, this guy needs a roundabout too. So that he can go backwards. Or forwards. Oh, I guess you can only choose one direction. And then we connect those roundabouts into these roundabouts. For really just the optimal driving experience. We put that into that roundabout. Perfection. Uh, I guess I want two houses this way and two houses that way. That way, these two homes can go into that building and these two can go into that building. All right, the yellow guys, unfortunately, are not in the position to have a roundabout yet, but I guess we can connect them in here just so they can feel included. And we made it to week three. We guess what we're getting? More roundabouts. So we got a pretty good system going on with the triple roundabout to roundabout on-ramp. Unfortunately, you can't directly connect roundabouts to each other, so we have these little things in between. Ooh, we have a red guy there. So let's let's rethink this. How can we optimize our roundabouts? Um, I think we can have this red house going into this roundabout and then leaving this roundabout to go onto this one and then taking this side road into the red house. So now he can really kind of maximize the amount of roundaboutness that he's doing. And this one we can put in that way as well. This seems pretty close to optimal to me. Oh, this guy, he's actually going to take a unique route and it's going to go right into that roundabout. It's more of like a direct entryway type of situation. Okay, okay, good. We have yellow who wants to get on, in on the action. So we can have yellow connected via a roundabout onto the red guy's train here. And then we can rework this point so that can go that direction. And then we have these homes coming in here. I think they probably need a roundabout. Ah, oh, it unfortunately cannot be placed there. Um, let's have this guy come in a little bit higher. And let this guy take a back route too. The whole point of here is having as many different possibilities for the cars as, 
as you can. Um, this splits up the traffic a little bit. But we have another roundabout that I got to find the location for. And I'm not entirely sure where it should be. Okay, we, we made it to week four. More roundabouts. Now we have three of them. Um, I think they're going to start giving us more things. So I'm going to put roundabouts, uh, obviously, in more optimal locations than we currently have them. All right, there's a yellow. So we can actually connect these homes to this situation. And then this yellow can inject directly into this roundabout so he can find his way at, into the yellow workplace. Um, I need to put another roundabout somewhere. And the only possible location is probably there. This just let the roads mix together a lot more efficiently. You know, why go straight when you can go around type situation. Ooh, and we've upgraded that to a big thing. So I think it now gets its own roundabout entryway. And this will just make it a lot more efficient for these homes leaving. I could even connect this guy into the roundabout instead of giving him the direct route. Because that just seems a bit better. So we have, we still have another roundabout and we got to find a location for it. No, no, no. This guy... Okay, so this guy can go into this roundabout here. Uh, but these homes, we need to inject them all into different roundabout spots. So that one can go in there, that one can go in there. And now we have a problem. Because these two have to share roads, but I can, I can make this a bit more efficient. Oh no. Oh, I got it. Perfect answer. We put a roundabout here, so that these two can share a roundabout to on-ramp into this roundabout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes way more sense. All right, week five, getting more roundabouts. Honestly, just what I was looking for. I was actually running out of them. So we can, we can optimize this, right? We're here to build solid construction. Oh, no, no. Yeah, this has to go in there. That way they don't... They need to maximize the roundabout. I don't want them sharing roads. So now that the yellows actually have, I guess I'll just keep them connected. It feels good to get extra roundabout access, but I think I don't want these two sharing a road. So we're gonna have the blue house going straight into the roundabout there. And this red house, I think we would rather have it go over there and have this guy enter over here. Wait, how do I even do that? I don't have a bridge. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> how is he supposed to get there? Can you roundabout over the water? You cannot. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> I literally can't answer that one. Um, okay, so now we have this purple house. And well, there's going to be a purple neighborhood here. So I think what we're going to do is create a roundabout at this location. And we're going to take these purple homes and inject them into the roundabout. So that way they can find their way up to their purple house right there. Um, I could also include another roundabout here to more uh, successfully on-ramp these yellow houses. I can have that one enter there, that one enter there. I can have this road enter up here and have this house enter right there. These purple homes will go like that. And... As unfortunate as it is, I think these uh, yellow homes have to share. There's actually no additional space in this roundabout. We have these two blue houses and they work over there. So we're going to bring them around this way so that they can get to work easier. Um, we are out of roundabouts, which is a bit unfortunate, but we do get more roundabouts. So that's perfect. So now we can have a roundabout at this location or the blue houses to enter. And this just makes it a lot more efficient with um, this red house and this red house. We can have them all use separate roundabout locations. So I literally cannot get access to those locations over there because I don't have a bridge. So <laughs> all jokes aside, that's actually pretty unfortunate. But, I, I mean, honestly, this roundabout system is working really well. 
Um, we do have another one. So we could put it on these purple houses, but I'm just seeing a really efficient roadway and I'm not seeing any reason to change. Although there's a lot of yellow homes up here. So I think what we can do is put a roundabout up here and then really optimize these houses to take advantage of this roundabout. And I think that's just the correct thing to do. Um, the next one, if, if the space was better, if we could put roundabouts in the water, which if I ever became mayor, I would probably, that'd be my first act as mayor. Um, then you could put roundabouts here and that would be pretty good. But unfortunately, this is just a normal subdivision and it, it has linear symmetry instead of circular. And that's just, we can't stand for that. Um, here's a blue home. I guess we can change this entry point into the roundabout and then give this its own unique uh, roundabout entrance just to optimize the geometry a bit. Well, <laughs> if we lose from this, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. There's, there's actually nothing I can do for this. Um, so it's a, pretty, it's a pretty wild daily challenge if they give you a river that you can't build over. Right? I don't have any bridges. I have nothing. So uh, what a rough way to go. Our roundabout city was just blossoming. Okay, well, you know what can solve this? Probably two roundabouts. So, since our city's going to die, uh, let's, let's put in as many roundabouts as we can. Um, I think I can fit one down here. So I can have this house going into that roundabout. This house going into that roundabout. This house going into that roundabout. And that one enters there. And then we give this a more direct line access. I like that. Quite like that. Ooh, and this blue house, you know what? There's a little spot just for him right there. Now he has access to both roundabouts. Ah, uh, it really sucks that I'm losing this way. Maybe we can give it a retry and see if they don't lock us out on this island over here. Because legitimately the, the crowd, like the traffic was going really well, aside from the unbeatable uh the unbeatable things on an island without a bridge 